Dear Heavenly Father Almighty, as I wake to the dawn of a new day, I come before you with a heart filled with gratitude. Thank you for waking me up today. Thank you for your love and care. Thank you for everything you have freely given me in this life. I pray that I can keep my eyes on you and live a life that proclaims your excellence. Lord, we pray today through your word from Bach of John chapter 10 verse 27 and 28. My sheep listen to my voice. I know them, and they follow me. I give them eternal life, and they shall never perish. No one will snatch them out of my hand. All-powerful God, compassionate Good Shepherd, we are your elect, your chosen ones, who profess our faith in you as our sovereign head and our belief in the absolute truth of your divine word. Lord, your precepts and commandments hold us to you, enabling us to follow the voice of our conscience, which encompasses your holy will, interpreted to us by your Holy Spirit counseling and leading us on the path of righteousness. Sin is death, and many a time have we succumbed to it in our human frailty. But you draw your flock to you with your redemptive power and hold us to yourself. Good Shepherd, to feed in peaceful pastures and be refreshed in faith by the still and living waters of your word and gospel truth. We fear no evil while we dwell in your grace, mercy, and peace. Dear God, when, by our ineptitude and the craftiness of the ruler of this deceitful world, we fall away, your powerful hand holds on to ours, never letting go. You discipline us by your law to prevent our going astray. You took upon yourself the iniquity of us all and carried the full brunt of punishment for our misdeeds in the form of the Son of Man, Jesus Christ, ransoming your life to give us eternal life. We make expiation for our sins and with renewed faith will continue the mission entrusted to us of increasing discipleship. In Psalm 38 verse 3, there is no soundness in my body because of your indignation. There is no health in my bones because of my sin. Loving Lord, I confess that there is much bitterness and anger in my heart, and I come to you knowing that there is nothing that I can do to rid myself of this suffocating handicap in my life. Search me within, Lord, and expose all that is not pleasing in your sight. Help me to find a closure to the deep-rooted anger which seems to be rooted in a deep-seated unforgiveness. Forgive me, Lord, for the pain I have caused, for I know my anger has hurt so many people. Yet I realize that my sin of anger is directed against you and it is against you alone that I have sinned in this way. Also. I pray that you will create in me a forgiving heart towards all those that have hurt me so deeply. And knowing that the Lord Jesus forgave me so many sins, I confess that I too should forgive others, just as God for Christ's sake forgave me all my sin. Thank you that in you I have victory against all my sin, including my anger for in Christ the power of sin has been broken in my life because I trust in his name. Thank you, Lord. I trust you to take away all the anger within me and fill me with your perfect peace, for you have promised to keep all in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on you. Prayer for Psalm 39 verse 12 Hear my prayer, Lord, and listen to my cry for help. Do not be silent at my tears. For I am a foreigner residing with you, a sojourner like all my fathers. Loving Heavenly Father, you put us into families and set a father as the leader and role model for each family. But Lord, there are many families that are being torn apart by a husband and father that has become addicted to alcohol. 
Knowing the devastating nature of this disease, I pray that you would prompt each one to turn away from this evil habit to become the responsible husband and father that you desire each one to be. Lord, we know that there are many alcoholic husbands that abuse their wives both physically and emotionally and that many children are also placed in danger due to abuse from an alcoholic father. And also, Lord, we know that such drinking habits can often leave families with insufficient money to live on. Protect all those that are vulnerable from all forms of abuse and convict such men of the responsibilities of being loving husbands and dependable fathers. Lord, we pray that they turn from their evil ways to turn to the Lord Jesus, knowing that only in you is true freedom found. Thank you, Father. I commit all families that are in this position into your safekeeping. In Jesus' name, Amen. Dear Lord Jesus, I come before you with reverence and awe, acknowledging your infinite power, boundless love, and unwavering grace. You are the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, the Savior of our souls. In your name, all things are possible, and by your blood, we find redemption and salvation. I praise you for your sacrifice on the cross where you bore the weight of our sins and opened the gates of eternal life. I submit my life to your divine will and authority, trusting that your plans are perfect, even when I cannot see the way. Lord Jesus, I ask for your guidance and strength to navigate the challenges of this world. Grant me the wisdom to discern your will in all aspects of my life and the courage to follow it. Fill my heart with love compassion, and forgiveness, reflecting your character to those around me. I pray for the healing of those who are suffering, the comfort of those who are grieving, and the strength of those who are weary. May your divine presence be a source of hope and renewal for all in need. I also lift up my gratitude for your constant presence and unending love. Your grace sustains us and your mercy knows no bounds. Thank you for your promise of eternal life and for being the cornerstone of our faith. I put all my hope and trust in you alone. John chapter 10 verse 27 and 28 My sheep listen to my voice. I know them, and they follow me. I give them eternal life, and they shall never perish. No one will snatch them out of my hand. Thank you, Father, that Jesus is my Good Shepherd and through Him, I can be restored into fellowship with you. Give me understanding, I pray, so that I may know you better. I give all the praise, honor, and glory in Jesus' name. Amen. Dear friends and family, thank you for watching and praying with us. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel, because the best is yet to come. See you in the next prayer. God bless you.